Welcome back to Twin Cities Live. Well, there's a new movie streaming on Amazon Prime that tells the story of the first Mexican-American astronaut a million miles away. It's all about perseverance and determination. Our Twin Cities Live movie critic Paul McGuire Grimes chatted with the man behind the story and the director of the film. Take a look. So, what's your big goal, dream? I want to be an astronaut. I love that your story is a story of this resilience and determination. I'm curious, where does that come from? You know, I think it comes back, it comes from my upbringing. You know, as a migrant farm worker, uh, the work ethic my parents taught us uh, to persevere uh, that, yes, things are hard, but you can overcome them. And I think uh, a lot of people say, I became an astronaut in spite of being a migrant farm worker. I think I became an astronaut because I was a migrant farm worker. Over the last 10 years, I've applied to the space program 12 times and I've been on the verge of giving up after each and every rejection. But you know what, sir? Here I am. So you could turn me down again, but rest assured, I'll be standing here again in a year. I've seen a lot of movies about space exploration and this is such a big story to tell. What did you hone in on to make sure that it stood out? Oh, I think this story have an emotional component to it that is could be contradictory to all this high-tech sophisticated technology astronaut nasa you know elements and i and i just think that's a perfect mix i think that elevates you know one thing elevates the other and and i think it works out pretty nice and i cry no 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 some dirt got into my eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paul joins me with his review of mil A Million Miles Away. A Million away. Miles Away. This looks very good. It is really great. I mean, it's got that, you know, inspirational, true story, the underdog story that we all love. And it's just so easy to kind of quickly be drawn in to Jose's story because he's a likable guy. And the film really charts these kind of five ingredients to success. So it's so accessible to anyone to come in, even if you're maybe not into space or whatever it may be, to like fall for his story. And it's really kind of this combination of his personal background, the his family dynamics, what his wife is going through, and then all the things that he did. He applied for NASA 12 times. No way. And with every rejection letter he got, he did something different to prove himself. Because he had to prove himself mm. over and over and over and over again, 12 different times. And again, it's that story of like resiliency, never giving up. And it, it was really wonderful. Don't take no for an answer. Don't, okay, this is not. on Amazon Prime Video. Yes. Ticket stubs Three and a half out of five. Michael okay. Pena plays Jose, and he's really great. Okay, let's talk about Cassandro. This yes. is Amazon Prime. We're staying on Prime yeah, video. Let's do this. Again, it's another true story about the Mexican wrestling culture of Lucha Libre and this guy named Saul who made a name for himself and really shook up the sport of Lucha Libre by donning this character that he came up with called Cassandro and it's this exotico character. Okay, I actually yeah. like how you say that. Say that one. His Exotico? Name. Oh. No, his, his name. One more Cassandro? time. Cassandro? No, Lucho. What? Oh, Lucha Libre. Oh, so that gosh. is like, the, <laughs> that's, the, that's the Mexican wrestling culture. Say so all a lot those of those things. Yeah, so it's, he's played by Gael Garcia Bernal, and he's so fantastic in this movie. And it really is this kind of story about identity and discovery. Like, yes, he knows that he's gay, but how does this character that he made up kind of let him inform him of who he really is inside as well? And it's a story about him and the relationships that he had with his parents. His mom that he was super close to, he was not that close to his dad, but his dad was the one that introduced him to wrestling. So there's mm. kind of this back and forth with his parents, and I, I, it's a really fascinating and unique story. I mean, we've seen a lot of sports biopics over the year, but to see about a sport that maybe we don't know a wrestling, lot about. Yeah. Wrestling, yeah. It was wonderful. Gael, great. And then Bad Bunny, who's really big in the music scene right now, he plays a drug dealer in the movie. Oh, okay. Take a sense so on this. So four out of five, Cassandro. Oh. I mean, watch it. I think you'll really get a lot out of it. Okay. Okay, we've got one more we got to get quick to. This is The Creator. It is in theaters. What's yes. this one about? So it is, takes place in 2065, futuristic world in a war between the humans and AI. And John David Washington plays this member of the military who has to find himself caring for this young simulant girl. And she is a robot that's in human form. And she may be the key to ending this war and to kind of answering who is the creator. And the creator is the one that created all of this AI. 
Okay, big talk about AIs and robots in general now. Yeah. Pretty good movie. What's tickets well, for I was, this? So this is three out of five. I think that this director throws a lot out at the movie. It's very gorgeous to look at, but there's so many concepts. This could have been a limited series to hmm. dive into, but it's like so action-packed that I was missing the emotional drive that gets this movie going. It does come at the end. But I was like, I, I was waiting for that to happen. Three out of five tickets yeah, tabs. All right, Paul, I might be staying home watching some movies this Do weekend. Do it. There's good stuff at home. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. We Thanks, appreciate Kelly. being here. All right. For updates and reviews of movies and streaming services, visit Paul's website, paulstriptothemovies.com. And today's movie trip is brought to you by Muska Lighting. Visit their showrooms to check out the latest fixtures from Cuzco and Allura designed by local designer Alan Pepin or shop online at muskalighting.com. Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's movie trip. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.